It's a very low barrier to get into the Gronk Squad. That's crazy. We've committed to do the Daily Talk Show for 10 years. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Put it in the calendar. Oh, that one in. Just like to check the temperature in the room. I told you my squeegee story. It is outrageous. Come on, let's go. It's the Daily Talk Show episode 1000 with Crystal and There we go. <laughs> Welcome back to the show. What how are you? are you? Yeah, how are you going? I'm good. I'm really good. Um, yeah. It's Friday. I had this to look forward to, which is always nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, is it, Crystal, are you still freelancing? Are you running your own show? Or, uh, have you been yeah. snapped up by some sort of media conglomerate that doesn't deserve you but wants you? <laughs> no, no, I'm still running Z Feed full time, doing a bit of freelancing, a bit of consulting, and it's it's really hard. It's fucking hard. Not gonna lie, mm-hmm. I feel like that's definitely not a surprise to you guys, but it's yeah. difficult, but um, more rewarding. Yeah, one hundred percent. What's what's been the the most interesting learning in the past sort of twelve months? Do you think? Um, I think I'm one of those people that doesn't necessarily enjoy do you know what it's made me sound like i'm really special i feel like most people agree with this i have not enjoyed um the office politics and like the stress of working with people in an office when you're in like these bigger businesses and that's just Mm -hmm. you know that's part of it sometimes it's great but when it's stressful it's like really drags you down and so while i have loved being on my own working from the apartment like You know, I get to make my own decisions, run my own show, and nobody runs interference on what I do. It has surprised me how draining it is to only be in your own company all the time. Like, I (laughs) thought I would love it, and Mm -hmm. I do enjoy it, but it's it can be quite exhausting. Do you think you're energised by people in the office? Is I mean, that's an extrovert, isn't it? They get their uh, Mm. energy from other people. Yeah. Yeah, I don't think that's definitely not me. Not I'm you, more of yeah. an introvert and I get energy from being my own. But I think I've realised you can't just be only on your own or only with people. Like even for the in- introverts, yeah. we still need a little bit of, I still need a little bit of interaction, which is why this is really nice and fun. So thanks for having well, me. Well, eating, eating your favourite food gets boring. <laughs> it's like it's you get annoyed with it. You're like, oh, I don't like that anymore. Yeah. If you love your own company, yeah. you can get sick of your own yeah. company. I've, yeah, definitely. Do you think that there's a certain sort of element of, that you wish that you knew before you went into it all, like things like misconceptions? Do you know what? I think if I, I think when you know these things beforehand, you don't necessarily appreciate um, Hearing them. what it <laughs> is in practice. Yeah. Like yeah. I couldn't say anything that I wasn't told before or that mm-hmm. people don't know going into it. You mm-hmm. just don't actually understand until you do it, what that means. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so it's what's, funny. What's like you guys were talking the other day about um, investing in stocks and how you wish you'd done that earlier. Mm-hmm. But like, would you actually have done it in your twenties? Because it's not yeah. that people weren't talking about it, right? You just yeah, don't yeah. do it because yeah. you're just not there yet. Exactly. Well, it's like mm. I always say that if I was doing year twelve now, I would <laughs> smash it. I reckon I'd get a really yeah. good weird flex. <laughs> <laughs> Weird one. But do you mean like doing year 12 now with everything that you know now, like taking all of your yeah, exactly. additional exactly. 15 years worth of knowledge? <laughs> yeah, you'd probably, it's probably unfair. You'd probably say that you'd hope that I'd do that. But I just felt like I didn't do homework growing up at all. Like I just didn't do homework, whereas I would do homework now, I reckon. Would you? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. Like I think the same. I'm like, I, I could be a good study. Mm-hmm. Like I could go to university now. I'm more equipped. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm 30 something. It's like <laughs> fucking geez, took me a while. Um mm-hmm. Crystal, uh hard question. You're across the news. Yeah, I was ready. For, I was ready for this. <laughs> um, the the dancing look like cheerleaders at a boat that has blown up into some kind of thing on news sites. Can you give us the lowdown on this? Oh, bless their souls. I can. I actually can give you the lowdown on this. Great. So, a Navy ship, a new Australian Navy ship, they, like, commission them. I don't really know what that means, but it's basically, like, this is ours. We're naming it. Here it is. Celebration ceremony for the boat. It seems sort of old Um, school, doesn't it? It feels like some sort of weird, like, medieval thing. It's like the the old, like, you know, smashing the champagne bottle against the side of the boat. Like, I I think it's that. I think that's Uh the whole ceremony of it. Big deal in the Navy. My partner who is in the Navy is probably going to watch this and be like, she's fucking butchering it. But anyway, (laughs) 
Um, so that's quite a, you know, it's a quite a ceremonial thing. And someone within defence who's arranging this kind of like christening ceremony for this new ship has booked a dance troupe to do a performance. Um, and they, I think they were like Jamaican dance hall troupe. <laughs> um, so that's like really cool. It's like a, a great skill to have, like very fun, but maybe not the right kind of vibe for a ship christening ceremony. And so you just had like all of the very official defence and Navy people sitting there on these little like fold out chairs in front of this big boat. Nothing else. It's not like this is a parade or, a, mm. you know, or like a carnival or anything. Um, mm-hmm. And these poor dancers who, you know, they've just been booked for a job, right? Someone calls you up yeah. and say, hey, we want you to come and perform at this thing. This is the right. Great. We'll be there. Um, they've just turned up and kind of looked around and gone up. Well, this is the job. <laughs> there was, there, there <laughs> was like high kicks. And and you, when you said the way, if, if I heard you, Crystal, explain the way you just did then, like if I was the person sort of in charge of like signing off without really knowing too much about what the event organisers were mm. doing, oh, that sounds great. You're making dances and like mm. – it didn't have that vibe. I, I got, I, I, you, you sent it to the group. Was like, this yeah. is quite funny. Yeah, yeah. I immediately thought it was overseas. It mm-hmm. was some sort of news over in America yeah, yeah. or Germany or something, something like that. <laughs> that makes no sense. But yeah. I would have signed it off. Je- definitely hearing <laughs> your pitch. But it had the vibe of like cheerleaders at the UFC before. But uh, cheerleaders, so a che- <laughs> like Crystal, uh, cheerleaders okay in 2021. Where do we sit on cr- cheerleaders? <laughs> I mean. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Personally, I don't find it that interesting. Yeah. Um, but I, I don't know. I think it depends. I feel like it's it like depends on the atmosphere of the event. Too. Yeah, sure. Super. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe if they could be more a more diverse group of people, maybe. Mm-hmm. I, don't, right. I don't really know. I think if it fits the vibe of the event, like even with this this story, if there was other stuff going on, it might not have seemed so inappropriate. Mm-hmm. But just the fact yeah. that it was only that, like it was just a dance troupe, like no other fanfare is what makes it weird. Well, I think my, I saw a, um, some headline where it was like um, uh, the ABC was slut shaming or, or something oh, like that in regards to like how they edited it or presented uh, the yeah. dance. Um, I mean, There's a lot like- of... Um, a lot of other stuff I think wrapped it up in how people have reacted to the story because, mm-hmm. you know, the the woman, the women who are in this dance troupe, right, like that's what they do. There's nothing inherently wrong with that. But I think the way that people were ridiculing it, and that includes a lot of sections of the media as well, it had a lot of undertones of um, slut shaming and sexism because it's not mm-hmm. necessarily that style of dancing that's inappropriate. It's the yeah. environment. It was just not a right fit. And then also mm-hmm. I think the other thing with the ABC is the way that they'd spliced the videos together um, mm-hmm. or edited them together was to suggest that the governor general was there watching the mm-hmm. dance, but they actually weren't. They arrived oh, after that had finished. So uh, it's like a little bit of, yeah, it's, it's so a little dodge, bit tricky. It's so dodge, isn't it? Mm, mm. Yeah. Um, business, uh, business plans, when you went out uh, doing your own thing, did you have one at all? I did. I still mm-hmm. have it. I haven't looked at it in a while. It's been mm-hmm. like maybe nearly maybe five months on my own but Uh i think when i made the business plan originally and what it is now would be very different i don't know like how often Mm. do you guys revisit what you originally like laid out (laughs) yeah question one do you have a business plan (laughs) absolutely not no i think it we're talking about it constantly and like you said you're in it navigating it i think it's like you can have a rough idea of Mm. wanting to what kind of business you want to have i, I wonder we if didn't. we would have i wonder if we would have had more luck with a business plan i don't think so not for what we do not for mm-hmm. the kind of operators we are yeah because what do you think that it, what well, it, what, i think there's a, a version of um testing and learning mm-hmm. that that isn't on paper yeah and that wouldn't make sense on a business in a business yeah, plan yeah. that's the thing so you need a if you want to get a loan as a business mm-hmm. we would have to form a business plan that would just outline everything. We'd be more equipped to do it right now yeah. than ever. Yeah. But early days, it's um, 
uh, yes, it wasn't our forte. Imagine how much we'd get bogged down in yeah, yeah. trying to work out yeah, the future yeah. of something we have no idea about. What did your business plan look like, Crystal? Uh, I feel like it was two or three pages <laughs> and just outlined who I wanted to talk to, who I want to talk to with Z Feed, what mm-hmm. the revenue streams were going to be, which I think that part is probably kind of there like it's kind mm-hmm. of matches um but the tricky thing in the beginning i think is mapping out what growth looks like because when yeah. you're starting you don't really have any idea of what's achievable well that's mm-hmm. what i feel anyway it's like i i could set this goal and say i want to you know mm. make x amount of dollars by the end of the year or have this size audience or whatever it is but it's really just a stab in the dark um mm-hmm. and i i don't like that (laughs) i don't like feeling as if i'm guessing um so i think what i'll do is um when i sit down and look at everything at tax time is just have a bit of a reconfiguration of what the rest of the year looks like with some Mm -hmm. actual evidence behind it yeah which makes a lot of sense i think i think maybe for some people they need the structure of a business plan Mm -hmm. sounds like you it with the process, how long did that take you? That's the thing. If it takes you months and months and months and you haven't started anything, mm-hmm. got no product. No, not long. Like, I don't know, business plan took like a day to put together, but then following it through is a whole other. A lifetime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's the hard bit, yeah. I mm-hmm. mean, what have you learned? Like, so with Z Feed, you built a lot of your initial following through social media. Where and what have you learned through everything that's happened in the last sort of six months? Um, I've learned that I personally don't like using social media. <laughs> I don't like <laughs> yeah. being on Instagram, which I know you mm-hmm. guys have spoken about yeah. a lot. Um, mm-hmm. So no, I think as soon as I <laughs> jokes, <laughs> jokes a lot, yeah. <laughs> a lot. But, yeah. and, and that might just be like because we've had to spend so much time on it for work. Mm. Like maybe that's what's made me not enjoy it. I don't know if you guys feel the same. It's like feeling as if you had to be there was what took kind of the fun out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. And so that is a tricky thing to navigate because it seems like it's a, a, I mean, most, there would be a lot of people that would only consume your Instagram account, which is then there you, that's mm-hmm. your captive audience or customer. At that yeah. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. But I think that'll be like the first thing when I bring someone else into yeah, this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I kind of feel like that's the first person I'll look at because I'll be like, someone who enjoys doing this, here you go, mm-hmm. you can have it and I can focus on everything else, which probably is like a good strategic thing to do anyway because there's something about just like being the weeds in the weeds every single day does kind of make it hard mm-hmm. to like step back and look at everything and make sure that you're heading in the right direction. It's um, a tricky th- balance. Third compliment for today for Josh Um Josh, you've done a great job of not being on social media. But not only that, mm-hmm. fourth compliment. It's oh, actually a double. Oh, great. So can thank I add, yeah, can yeah, I have yeah, four? Yeah, I appreciate um, it. A great <laughs> job at what that means mm-hmm. and how you're how you're actually taking that on. Because a lot of the time there's been so much from you that has been about what it meant to actually be on social media and uh-huh. what would it mean if you weren't posting, mm-hmm. which you can see it's you've changed thinking. Mm-hmm. Nothing else has changed. Yeah. The world hasn't changed. Social media hasn't changed. Mm-hmm. Still the same mm-hmm. shit that you called it out for being in 20, 2009. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But it's, uh, yeah, congratulations oh, on that. Thank you. Um, Crystal, what is it for you um, in terms of social media and and what you don't like about it and – and Yeah, how do you what, moderate yeah, it? How, yeah, do you, how, yeah. do you, like, how do you have a business and uh, hate or, you know, have a disdain for something that is potentially a revenue generator and an audience builder? Um, I mean, like how, and maybe this is why on a personal level, I think I'm bad at moderating my own Mm -hmm. time in it. Like I can't be, it's like, I just can't be responsible with my use (laughs) of social media. (laughs) I just get sucked in. And so it's like, then you realize you're spending all this time in something which just changes the way that you like feel. It changes the way you think. Like there's so much information out there mm-hmm. about how these platforms actually do this to us kind of like to our brains on a psychological level um so i think maybe it's just that i'm not very good at regulating mm-hmm. and so i need the distance from it to be able to like do the other shit in my life what is it um, tell us this at a moment that yeah. it's that it's been um pretty negative for you if you don't mind sharing <laughs> what did you say like that? i don't know i felt like i was, uh, <laughs> felt like i had to ask yeah, yeah. I, getting, yeah it sounded like heavy. alcohol um, i was trying to be light <laughs> 
I mean, I, I feel like it's the same as what a lot of people feel where you just mm. kind of start to feel shitty about yourself because it's that whole story about it being a highlight reel, like everybody else's lives look amazing. And I'm sure I'm guilty of perpetuating that with like how I curate my social media as well. So just looking at it and comparing, like I spoke about this a little bit at the end of last year, like I'm terrible for comparing myself to other people, other people running their own businesses who are like similar to mine and also not that similar to mine. It's just when you're looking at everybody else's high points, Mm -hmm. that you're sitting on your own in your apartment, Mm -hmm. you've had a shitty day, you know, nobody can get in to see a friggin' therapist at the moment because they're like also booked out and you're just at this low point of looking. Oh, it's so bad. It's Mm -hmm. so bad right now. Yeah. I um, tried to make an appointment with a therapist I was seeing at the end of of last year, like about a month ago. And they just straight up like it's wait list if like they uh, lose a client, basically they're they're at complete capacity. When they say lose a client, hopefully that's, that's just oh, that's moved, probably gotten bad better. Yes. <laughs> They've had a success <laughs> story and someone does not yeah, need yeah. them anymore. <laughs> you got to fix, they fix the person. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you don't. But like every- I, I even w- w- wonder about that even like when it came came to a, a golf, like with the <laughs> golf coach and I thought to myself, I was like, hey, I'm picking a coach that's very available. My that's concern true. was are they, it's like a, a quiet restaurant. Yeah. Are they available for a reason? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or are you just like really ahead of the curve of like a golf trend? Yeah. Are you getting in early and now you have to hold that place Mm -hmm. with that coach? You do not let it go. He's Bitcoin 2007. (laughs) (laughs) You're holding, you're playing the long. I mean, do you, um, Crystal, do you have any interest in golf? No. Okay. Okay. (laughs) End of conversation. No, I I respect the the willingness to to have some banter with the golf. That was that was good fun. Uh um little thing you mentioned which is your uh, your partner's in the navy that's cool yes i didn't know that yeah yeah what, is the na- what does that mean to be in the navy in 2021 20, <laughs> i forgot what year it was <laughs> he doesn't get motion sick i guess are all navy people on ships that's yeah, the one this question is, uh, yeah what is going on being in the so navy? his his story is a little bit uh interesting i don't think he's watching but hi pierre if you are i think my parents are watching if they manage to find navigate the links and everything so hi mom and dad um (laughs) so he is he's in the navy but he's currently studying medicine i feel like i've told this story before maybe not um so he is a full-time uni student right now um but once he's done he'll be a doctor in the navy and then has to serve out like his contract to them um like the time that you take to study and finish the degree like everything all yeah. of the um your internship and everything you then have to give them that time back as a doctor on your contract oh, that's and interesting. at yeah at some point he'll be posted to a ship and if that mm-hmm. ship gets you know sent out somewhere then he'll have to go um but you know yeah that's kind of how it works not Is everybody's it, on a ship yeah and, and not all ships are deployed to war like i mean yeah, my my friend was in the Navy for a while and he never went out. But he did. they did go on test stuff. It is amazing. Sydney's a different thing. Like living near the harbour and uh, Woolloomooloo, you've got the wharf there where mm-hmm. the, the Navy yeah. is. It's sick seeing these big ships. And sometimes they do like um, runs out. You can see them past Bondi Beach, like the big ship out doing some kind of drill. Or, mm-hmm. It's sick. But it's um, a different. It's really like cool. you, Yeah, love it. I um, always get amazed. Like, you know, all ships are that kind of greyish, greenish, yeah. bluish colour. Mm-hmm. But when you see that, like, out on the water, it actually camouflages really well. Like, they're very hard to see just being mm-hmm. painted in all that colour. Never ceases to blow my mind every time we drive, drive past Wall and look. Does but- Pierre have any interest in all the stuff, like the stuff that's happening in the South China Sea mm-hmm. when you are in sort of the Navy and all that sort of thing, are you taking an interest in geopolitics or like what's happening and wars and stuff? I think it probably varies Mm -hmm. like from person to person. He personally is very interested in that stuff. Um, And and he did a counterterrorism degree before starting his medical degree. So Mm -hmm. he's just interested in that in in general, but it probably varies, right? Like I don't Mm -hmm. I don't necessarily think every single person in the Navy or in defence in general is tuned into that. 
kind of news on like mm-hmm. a daily basis. Just mm-hmm. like any industry, I think, yeah, mm-hmm. it just varies. We have um, He's super uh, into it though. Uh, GB uh, is at the uh, is our archivist uh, today. That's what the coat's for. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> not not high fashion, <laughs> no. which it is. Um, yeah, and uh, do G- you think that it's actually what I would wear? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, sort of. No, it looks Maybe. great. It, it no, it actually. Th- I actually think that you've nailed the look. It looks fantastic. Thank GB, you. have you got a, a clip that we could play? Yeah. So, yeah. I, I just I'll just duck into the cupboard to get something uh, from the archives, Crystal. All right, oh, no. I'm now. Um, okay, I found something. I'm nervous. All right. Well, this actually isn't. Okay, I'm popping out of the out of the cupboard now. Um, I just thought I'd get your opinion on this one, Crystal, because you're an expert with apologies, and you know you, you think that you're going to be cancelled at some point. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you said that on Hump Day, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. She's, she's been studying apologies, I believe, just in case she needs to make one. That's and good. so. Uh, this is an apology that Josh made, and maybe we can just get some feedback and some tips on what he needs to do better, or okay. whether it's a good apology. Okay, great. Let's go, America. I wanted to do an, a quick apology before we go. Okay. Yep. Uh, yesterday, I was making a joke, and I referred to my sweaty, small people as no, <laughs> my sweaty brow, <laughs> and when I did it, I was referring to my upper lip. Mm. That is, in fact, not a brow. The brow, mm. I realised after Mr. 97 put together yeah. the highlights bit, a brow is a person's forehead. Mm. It's really been bothering me. Uh, um, hang on. So, a brow, I mean, not your eyebrow. Your brow is above your your forehead. Yes, oh, not cool. uh, not it's the not. below. You. Yeah. I mean, uh, so, GB, you want to know from Crystal... Can I just say, I didn't hear the small people bit yeah, when yeah, I was yeah, editing. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so, so where's Tom? Should, should Crystal, should Tommy do should a quick Tommy apology? Should Tommy do a quick apology? I don't think I heard an apology in that clip. Ah. Ah. Interesting. This is, well, that's, I think, is that bad work by is that the, George? Was that the, is this a <laughs> test? Is this a trick? Because I think well, you have to say, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. For it's it a being apology. Can you, George, yeah. look up "I'm sorry" and see what we can find? There, there is guilt from me for sure. It's like saying, um, "Oh, oh who's here?" Oh. Got, we've got a, we've got a delivery that's come in. Somebody so exciting. Oh, this is exciting. That's a Kmart gonna, bag. Gonna, what gonna, is that? I'm going to change a view so you can, you can see. It looks it as like well. he wants on. to get out of here. There you go. You'll be on. Oh, yeah, He's got four other here? deliveries. Uh, but yeah, people not saying sorry in the apology, but mm-hmm. then somehow crafting it to feel like one. Mm-hmm. That happens a lot. Not saying that's what you did. Yes. No, well, I mean, it was, let's be honest, it was a silly. Uh, so George is just walking down now. JB, you're going to turn on your, your mic and the camera. Okay. All right. Here we go. Crystal. All right. Get ready for this. What? Oh, gosh. Okay. I just got a car okay. there, and this guy's freaking okay. out. What oh, is yeah. this? You just, maybe don't get their faces. Good day, mate. Just, uh, Thank okay. you. What is Thank this? You. Oh, thanks. Are you, where are you from? Uber? Oh, thanks. Okay, great. Good to clarify. clarify. Safety okay. first. Okay. What's the so branding on that bag? I couldn't Yeah, there it was out. a lot of brand. It looked like brand. Kmart. Okay. But so, I don't think you can get any deliveries from Kmart. Wow. I am getting a bit peckish if this is food. This is amazing. It doesn't look like food. <laughs> it sort of had... Um, Crystal, what, guess. What's your guess? What oh. do you think this is? It's IGA. Oh, okay, this God. is good. Okay, do you want to... Okay, GB, maybe it is food then. Maybe there's snacks in there. Okay. GB, do you want to go to the couch and yeah, open yeah, it? Yeah, do an unboxing on the couch. Okay, here we go. Um, all right. <laughs> this is great. Sorry, Crystal, we will get back to your <laughs> thoughts the on the apology or I'm pretty cool if we move on. <laughs> <laughs> After what I heard. <laughs> all right, all right we so we've got crumpets. Oh, Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, French vanilla cheesecake. Oh, with the biscuit bottom. Yummy. Who's this from? I don't know. Don't know it doesn't say. We, this is the thing we don't know any Party of pies. Oh, party yum. Oh, yum. You know what? We what? have the air fry here. We can oh, get great. those party pies going. Oh, perfect. Uh, two fruits in juice. Amy <laughs> loves that. She's coming okay, in for go. um, lunch on the couch. Yeah, good. Because we got two of them. This is like a full grocery shop. Yeah, yeah. I know. It's amazing. <laughs> You're sure Justice didn't get a grocery sent here? <laughs> Pines, apple, baby food puree. for Josh. <laughs> 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 it's actually nice. I'll have some too. Fisherman friend. Fisherman. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd love a mint. Yeah, chuck them. 
Thanks. Thanks, George. Um, this is a lot. More baby food. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, more baby food, <laughs> maybe. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Here Josh, here we go. This one's for you, Josh. Okay. okay. Oh, oh, maple Canadian syrup. Maple syrup. Oh, beautiful. Put that on crumpets. That'd be delicious. Oh, yeah. Who is this person? Yeah, who is, is it? In the chat. Any info in there? No, there's nothing. <laughs> That's from Whitey. It's from me, he says. Whitey. Whitey. <laughs> Thank you, Whitey. Mate, we got a bunch of cuts coming your way. Are you still popping past right. Whitey? Let us know. Um, oh, that's for so the crump. I mean, uh, crumpets you'll he heat them up, yeah. Crum oh, we've got the tofu, or you could do them in the air fryer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We can do Are everything. you a uh, crystal? Do you like crumpets? I love a crumpet, crumpet hot out of like the toaster mm -hmm. with butter, so mm -hmm. good, mm. and that mm. just makes me feel like you've just come from home, home from mm -hmm. school, and you're uh -huh. like 11, perfect afternoon snack. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> and you're 11 years old. Is that what you were saying? You're 11 oh. years old. Yeah. Four o'clock in the afternoon, crumpets in the toaster. Oh, that just is, take me back. <laughs> Toast and crumpets after, yeah, man. There's something about, yeah. Just, I wish I could. Remember when you never, you didn't care about eating bread as a child? Like, really? Um, yeah, I, st I stopped like about a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> or you went back to not caring. Yeah. Because I think we all start off probably not caring about mm -hmm. a lot of things yeah. in life. Mm -hmm. Like I w look at Bodie and wonder, you know, what he doesn't care about. Mm -hmm. And so anyway. I mean, uh, Crystal, not to um, beat a dead horse because we obviously you don't do that. <laughs> um, but also um, uh, in regards to what you eat, what's the latest update? Have you changed uh, what you eat uh, for breakfast or, you know, what your, what, your, what your whole eating routine is? Actually, yes. Oh, this yes. is huge. Oh, this, this is, is huge. huge. This, Wait, this is huge. I'm not going to say anything. Let's put it all in there. Exclusive banner. Okay, Whatever this is great. To that. Yeah. I know. Oh I, my should, God. I should bring it back. You know what? I reckon I could probably try and bring it in. You, you might You might be really, um, but you've got to start. Just start talking, Crystal, while I, while I do this. I'm just waiting for the banner. Yeah, look, we brought a few new meals into the rotation. Um, so I'm doing like a little stacked salmon, avocado, hummus, tomato, um, cheese sometimes on like rice crackers for lunch. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's delightful. Yes. Uh, chickpea bowls, those are in rotation now, which is really good. We've swapped out some of the meats that we were eating for chicken. Mm. It's riveting stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I appreciate like where does it come from, the desire to be so organised like that? Uh, time. Time uh -huh. saving purely. Yeah, sure. It just uh -huh. saves you so much time thinking. That's like my, my least favorite thing about preparing food. I don't mm -hmm. mind. I quite enjoy cooking, mm -hmm. but I don't like thinking about what to make or what to eat. So if someone else decides, like, this is the meal we're having, I'm happy to make it, but yeah. I don't want to choose. No, that's fair. And if uh, where is that time going? Where are you allocating that to? Social media, I'm just scrolling. Okay, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> just scroll, yeah. It seems yeah, like you should spend more time cooking because <laughs> that, that would be better for your mental health. Can I just say, sorry, I asked Jess to get some Blistex. Mm -hmm. My lips are chapped. And um, I just said, get me a little tub, you know, the little mm -hmm. circle tub. She's got me medica medicated relief. She bought me medical grade Blistex because it was on sale. Mm. But if I, just, if I just go to put a bit on... Yeah. It looks like you're making out with Shane Warne. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. It's got that vibe. So, I'm... Um, mm. It's a real vibe, isn't it's it? A, it's a white-lipped vibe. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, need, I need to... How does it feel, though? <laughs> yeah. Does it feel better? I love the nip of Blistex. What does that lip. mean? Like, it's a little bit of a burn. Oh, like I yeah, love yeah, yeah. that. Yeah. Um, Are you a fragrance girl, Crystal? Do you like... No. No. No, I no find candles? that they irritate... Candles I don't mind, but wearing like perfume, yeah. uh -huh. I feel like it irritates me. It gives me a headache. Yeah. I don't know if uh -huh. it's like maybe there's a common ingredient among mm -hmm. like a lot of the mainstream fragrances yeah. that just I have a sensitivity to. Yeah, I um, so got into not huge um, on that. Uh, natural deodorants in the last couple of years, loving that my latest one. It's like a, this ma what is it like a magnesium? Forgot the, the the brand. Do you use natural deodorant? No, I just use a regular. Oh, just a regular. Right? Okay. Yeah. Should check out some. Sorry, I'm not at that level right? yet. No, 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 it's really it's a good. lot of judgment. Like, <laughs> I mean, no, no, I'm a guy who wears perfume or whatever we call it. 
Um, that's no, you, it's just uh, cologne, isn't it? Cologne, but I also, um, I also wear natural deodorant. I actually like the sort of the waxy sort of feel like a caveman, you know, just <laughs> okay. putting on okay. some. What did the caveman put under his arm? Well, just just elements. Just grab. I want to look at the back. I want to. I want to see the first twenty elements. That's what I want to see. <laughs> if it's not hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, boron, <laughs> carbon, nitrogen, oxygen. Laura Neon, any of those. Whisper them, they don't know. Yeah. I, I um, wouldn't know either way. Uh, so I need to I need to wee. So just uh, talk amongst uh, yourselves, uh, uh, Crystal. Feel free. Uh, what I'd love to know um, for uh, for GB uh, is, Crystal, has there been any favourite moments uh, for you over the last little bit um, that we could maybe bring up or anything that stands out for you? Oh, my gosh. I don't know. See, I feel like... I would consider this to be a compliment, so don't take it the wrong way. Oh, this but when you listen bad. to lots, lots of episodes of the Daily Talk Show, as I do, it's like I'm not necessarily. It's like it's just one show that's constantly going, and I don't know that I can. Okay. I know the different moments or the different episodes. Does well, that sound the, bad? Well, at the start of every episode, we say the number just so we can be clear <laughs> that it's a new show. Yeah, <laughs> no, I usually no. just skip right past. That. No, I know what you mean. I know what you mean. It's um. I'm sure George could randomly grab one episode or grab two episodes, pick a point and would be saying the same thing. You can only talk about, but things evolve is what you're saying. The yeah. storyline of our journey is evolving and the narrative is changing as we go along. And so is the thinking. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I, that's very, that's spot on. It feels like a journey that you've taken all of us on. And I've, and you know, it's like you come in at any point if you've been listening for a long time, you know, have a break over a few, you know, a couple of weeks or something, and then come back and be able to step right back into that story because it mm. seems to be following this path, which is pretty amazing because, like, you guys don't necessarily know where it's going. Absolutely you can try not. to shape it, but you don't really know where it's well, going to go. You, you don't know where it will land, but you can yeah. send it up in the air. Well, um, I think we've got something else here at the front door, Crystal. Oh, it's Wombat, I think. Here we go. Hang on. Let's uh, – oh, there's a Daily Talk Show hat. Hang on. Here we go. I'm yeah. going to give George the microphone. Okay, here we go. Crystal, have you seen someone putt for a cup yet? I, I have watched this morning's putts for the cup. Very impressed. Don't think that I would be as accurate as everybody has been this well, morning. Well, Usually, you know what? the more negative, the better the putt. <laughs> <laughs> So this this could be this could that. be okay great this could be huge for you Crystal because what I think is uh, we could actually hang on I'm just gonna uh, we could actually get Wombat who's out the front he could putt for you on your behalf as well so if he yes. gets if he gets a cup you get a cup how does it sound Oh I'm all in the stakes <laughs> just got so high <laughs> No all right so here we go uh, Wombat Here's is here Wombat, Wombat. Welcome. Thank you very much. Hey, welcome, Jess. welcome. Uh, okay, so uh, Wombat, not only are you putting uh, for yourself to win a cup, you are also putting for Crystal Andrews, who is in Sydney. Are you up for the challenge, Wombat? I will certainly have a go. Josh. Okay, perfect. Oh, no All right, pressure. here we go. All right, he's got I'm just going to straighten up the cup. Yeah, you could even close the, um, the garage door just, just to give ready. it the full lighting yeah. experience. This is huge. Sorry. All right. So, you get right. three goes. Now, Wombat's a sporty guy. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Yeah, he's a big cricketer. Yeah. So, we'll see. All right. And. Oh, oh he's got oh, it. Yeah. Thank you very much. That is, Crystal is wrapped with that. Wow. I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> Glad I could please you. Um, that was great. Can we, uh, Wombat, can you go get uh, a couple of um, uh, the cups now? Sure. Just, uh, feel free to come up to the, yeah. come up to the camera. Uh, pick your here's, cups. Here's the camera. Yeah, come up here. Uh, uh, Wombat, we can have a quick, uh, quick interview if you just want to uh, stand over stand here. Stand over here. Come over here. Yeah, yeah, yep. yeah. Uh, uh, Wombat, uh, your favourite moment of the daily talk show, are there any that, that stand out to you? Uh, I think actually being here yeah. was about 13 months ago, I think it was, just yeah. before the first lockdown. That's right. Yeah, wow. actually coming in and uh, sitting with you guys and having a chat. 
That so, was fun. Oh man, it was. No, um, it, it was it was so <laughs> different. Uh, hey, uh, Wombat, if you want to come up, sit on the couch. Yeah, sure. Let's um, let's get uh, uh, GB. Have you got a bit that you could play from that? Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Terrible mic technique, GB. But I'll he was let holding it. Go. it. All right. Okay. <laughs> Would you like, like a drink to take wombat. upstairs? Okay. Yeah, right, yeah, 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 yeah. You can help What's me. Coke, no go? sugar. He's oh, got a Jack Daniels and Coke. <laughs> 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 All right, up we go. <laughs> up we go. Up Come we go, on, up Wombat. Up we go. Up we go. Right. Um, so you, I didn't see the shot. Nailed it. Hole in one. Hole in one. <laughs> hole in one. <laughs> There's a lot it of was, hole in ones it today. Was, it was wombat, welcome. Welcome, Wombat. All righty. Mate, take a seat in the corner. So, GB, you were saying that you've. um potentially got a bit that you could um you could play okay he's, he's just getting his his mic uh sorted so we've just got uh crystal here as well wombat hey, <laughs> <laughs> hang on i'll i'll just um i'm gonna put uh, change the video source for you crystal there you go um uh so uh crystal uh what's what are you excited about for 2021 what's the rest of the year for you i am Look, I'm just hoping to make it to the end of this year, to be honest. We've had, what, four months of some of the craziest news in just just in Australia, like every mm-hmm. yeah. week it's yeah. something. Um, so I'm pretty tired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The fact that there was nothing kind of crazy that happened this morning, mm-hmm. I was very happy about because uh-huh. it's always kind of nice to like just go into a weekend not feeling like it was an absolute shit show the past five been days. Touched. I, had to I am ready for coffee. coffee. Oh, sorry, yeah. George. Hang on. I'm going to mute that. Um, Crystal, on, on that, with the um, the new stuff of all the vaccine thing, I'm really curious about your perspective on it. Obviously, there's been all the blood clot stuff. I don't know if you heard our episode where we're talking about all these things and just feeling a bit sort of funny about you know like not being anti-vaxxers but also just feeling a bit funny when you hear the news what's your perspective Mm. following it along yeah it's um it's been very interesting to kind of uh see people's reactions change along (laughs) the story of like these vaccines right because to me it kind of felt like before there were real tangible vaccines that had been approved for Australia and, you know, when this was kind of like on a more conceptual level, I feel like a lot of people were very sceptical, very hesitant, not sure, and, like, I'm not talking about conspiracy theorists or anti-vaxxers, like just regular people were understandably Mm -hmm. just feeling a bit funny about it all. Um, And then I felt like when they were announced that the rollout was going to actually begin and these were all the levels, this is when people will be getting it, we're aiming for everyone to be done by October, it kind of shifted and people were ready like excited Mm -hmm. almost to receive the vaccine and just start like kind of getting on with life Mm -hmm. um and some of that hesitancy felt like it had disappeared from the discourse a little bit now we're back to where we were before with complications that i mean i completely i completely understand why people are a little bit worried a little bit scared it's ultimately a personal choice but when you put it in the context of some of the other medications vaccinations all sorts of different things that are out there um me being in the news every day and looking Mm -hmm. at these things i can't help but feel like it might have been a little bit political um maybe good cover for the fact that australia was already way off track um from the plan that we had laid out to vaccinate Mm -hmm. people and so maybe some of these other countries being in a more precarious position and a little bit more um, hesitant when news of kind of like these isolated blood clotting cases came out. Maybe uh, some of our politicians took that as a good opportunity to be like, you know, what's a good excuse for us not being as far along as we were? Mm -hmm. Stopping this for the medical reasons and then saying, look, now we don't have a target because we just can't be sure it changes too often. The flip side of that is unfortunately it scares people again. So... Yeah, I, I, I don't really know. I mean, I'm happy to get one and I will be getting one when my turn comes and mm-hmm. I'm not too worried about it in that sense. But I understand why people are and it's a shame because I feel like the, the narrative is being a little bit, um, it's being massaged a little bit, I, I think. Yeah. I saw a great tweet where it was like someone was saying, oh, 
everyone's always like marketing always use um, marketers use the term like immune boosters, you know, like, <clears throat> yeah, oh, yeah. you know, this will fix your immune, like this will help your immune system. And they're like, oh, a vaccine is like a really great way to like help your <laughs> immune system. So that got me. I'm like, oh, they I don't have that. to have my little grass shots. Yeah. What's that called? <laughs> you know, the boost juice, you know, your little... Wait, oh, wait, yeah. grass, wait, yeah, grass, wait, grass, grass. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, that's about <laughs> ten years old. Did, um, do they do anything? I did, I did no all, yeah, no but idea. that was marketing, though. Yeah, it was good. Wait, grass was the thing. Uh, so, uh, uh, GB, what do you uh, what do you have for us? So yeah, last year, um, the start of 2020, mm-hmm. when before all the pandemic and stuff, mm-hmm. um, it, was, it was actually the end of 2019. Yeah, and Wayne was on the comments, being mm-hmm. like, "You guys are idiots." Mm-hmm. Um, saying that 2020 is a new decade. Because oh, oh, you had yeah. a massive... Yeah. You, yeah. Idiots was a bit hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm paraphrasing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wombat was not happy. He wasn't happy. No. And then <laughs> I I blew up because <laughs> I was like, what's, this, what's he on about? Uh-huh. Of course, it's a new decade. Uh-huh. Um, and then we were doing a show all together in here and then it took me about half an hour to realise that, that there was Wayne. Okay. Mm. So... And so, uh, you've got a bit of yep. uh, a, s- a snippet for us? Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. I've just realized something. Did I... Was Wayne the guy that I cracked it at with the 2020 decade? This is... This is... This is... This is... Yeah. Here we go. Stitch up. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah, this Wombat is, V, what's, what are you yeah. done? <laughs> you're a little... You're a little... Uh, so, so, no, <laughs> let's go through it. Okay, so, yeah. Wayne, why, why, what do you remember? The tw- what was the, what do you remember? Can you set it up for us? Give us some yeah. context, oh, Wayne. Shit. Um, I'm trying to remember what the conversation was. You were talking about the, ch- the new decade with 2020 kicking in and I just mm-hmm. pointed out that from a mathematical and calendar perspective, a year ending in zero is the end of a 10-year period. And, and, uh, yeah. and then George <laughs> Dodge and so, didn't particularly and I, agree I with that. Pretty, pretty quickly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And so yeah. what do you think it is, Dodge? Well, because I thought like 2020 new decade, like we're in the 20s. You know, we're out of the teens. We're going 20s, 30s. But he mm-hmm. was taking it all the way back to 1901, <laughs> which I've realised is right. <laughs> so but then, so a decade <laughs> consists of how many years? A decade, 10 years. Okay. But it's from <laughs> so a century is from 19, oh, January 1, yeah. 1901. To 31st of December, 1999. No. No, yeah, a century. To a century. Yeah. Oh, my God, there's going to be a punch no, no. <laughs> I'm loving this banter. I am, Grace is loving the banter too, I can tell. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I was pretty quick to to blow up, but, mm-hmm. yeah, you, you are right. <laughs> oh, that's good. So you Glad well. we oh, that's, so, <laughs> this is the nicest thing I've ever heard. They both said each other's right. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that nice? Right. Are you, George is just right for apologising. That's what Wayne's <laughs> saying. How was that for an apology, Crystal? I think I got the sorry in there at one point. Still didn't hear an apology. Still didn't hear sorry. <laughs> Weak apologies around here. I mean, I love it. what I love about that clip is it was when we were trying to make Dodge George's nickname. Yeah. Oh, that's right. That didn't really snicked it, no, uh, stick it at Wombat. GB. I mean, Wombat has. Wombat. Wombat has, yeah. yeah. Eats yeah. fruits and leaves. That's, <laughs> a, that's, that's the same. <laughs> uh, Crystal, thank you uh, for uh, for all the support and uh, friendship over the last uh, year and a bit or two years or whatever it's been now. I can't fucking remember. Mm. But, uh, yeah, thank you for coming on episode 1000. Oh, thanks to you guys too. It's been so much fun. I can't wait to get back into the chat on the other side of this little window. Yes, yeah. and we uh, we will send out that uh, that cup that uh, Wombat has won for you. Oh, as that's well. right. Yep. Yeah. Well Please do. Yeah. I'm going to make a really big margarita in that cup. <laughs> oh, that's yeah, a great it's, idea. It's a, it's a liter, 32 <laughs> ounces. It's huge. <laughs> you'll huge be margarita. <laughs> T- turn your social media off. You'll go to town. <laughs> <Yeah>. If you. <laughs> Thank Thanks, you. Crystal. Have a Thanks, good one. Thanks, Crystal. Catch ya. Thanks, guys.